Welcome back to Educator.com. Today we're going to continue our discussion about eukaryotes and we're going to review the helminths. And you might think, well, gosh, what on earth are the helminths? Well, the helminths are worms. And again, we're going to focus on the worms that cause human disease. There are certainly many different types of worms on the planet, but we're only going to think about the ones that infect the human host. So helminths, again, are multicellular worms, and they're parasites. And what, as we remember from the parasite lecture, what that means is that part of the life cycle is spent in the human host. And in this case, um, these helminths spend part, if not all, of their life in the human host. So there are three kinds of helminths that are medically significant. One type are the flatworms, and they can be the trematodes, these flukes, or the tapeworms, and we're going to have a more detailed discussion about the tapeworms. Uh, the thorny worms are intermediate, and then the uh, round worms are exactly how they sound. They're round, of course, and these are worms that reside in the gastrointestinal tract. They can also reside in the blood, in the lymphatics, and the subcutaneous tissue. So the second example we're going to discuss is actually a roundworm example. Isn't that fun? Uh, let's go on. Okay, so what are the biological properties? The uh, life cycles of these organisms are very complicated. Again, they involve the human host. And the intermediate stages can be spent either in the uh, earth, of course, they can be spent in other organisms. And the two examples we're going to review are examples where the intermediate stages reside in other organisms. So in, in terms of these intermediate stages, there it's very much like the fungi. Remember we talked about the fungi, we talked about some bacteria have stages like this and also the protozoa. So the way that it's important for you to develop a working knowledge of microbiology is to find the organisms that share things in common. And we've discussed several things, uh, several properties that many microorganisms share in common. And one of these principles is really life outside the human host. Does it, does that life occur in the soil? Does it occur in spore stages? Does it occur in hyphae stages? Does it occur again in other organisms? And then how is, how are these intermediate stages transmitted to the human host? How are the potentially adult stages? How do they leave the human host? So all of these principles can really be ways in which you can link together several different types of microorganisms. So the adult helminths, uh, the worms, they can be uh, dioecious. Now this term, we haven't seen this term before, and this term is used exclusively in plants and invertebrates. So in mammals, we don't discuss the term dioecious. Um, and you know, the, but then the um, these helminths also have a monoecious uh, stage where both the male and female organs are actually in the same organism. So in terms of reproduction in the human host, it can really only occur when both the male and female are present in the same location in the same human host. That's very important.